Hi there, this is Chris Chapman, the Cap Motor Legends. Today I'm going to talk about the best protective motorcycle jeans that are available in the market in 2023. I think we've entitled or titled this review something like the best motorcycle protective jeans of 2023. But before we get into this, let me go over all the reasons why this review isn't technically about the best jeans of 2023 and why in reality I think it probably is. The truth is that we don't do all the jeans out there, so we cannot be definitive about this. Just about all of the motorcycle brands these days do motorcycle jeans, and obviously we don't do all of the brands out there. We do have a monitor what's on offer, and we're forever buying jeans from other retailers to see what those jeans are like. Now, it might sound immodest of us to make such a claim, but there isn't a jeans brand out there or a manufacturer out there who wouldn't want to work with us to sell their jeans. We are kind of the jeans people, and it's undoubtedly the case that we sell more premium quality jeans than anybody in the world. But let me be clear, in our universe, that means single layer jeans. We are not going to beat about the bush. We do not consider Kevlar or lined jeans any longer to be a premium offering. We just think that they are out of date. When internal combustion engine vehicles first came onto the market, there were, I'm sure, people out there who felt that they would never be a match for the horse and car. Well, we feel the same about those who still advocate the benefits of Kevlar jeans. Kevlar jeans, it has to be acknowledged, did play their part in pioneering a more casual form of riding trouser. Until they came onto the scene, I don't know, about 30 years ago, most bikers relied upon leather pants for protection. When Kevlar jeans came out, they looked less aggressive, they were more comfortable, and importantly, they harked back to that era when bikers were happy to ride around in a pair of Levi's. But Kevlar jeans have now been overtaken by single layer jeans. There are lots of different types of single layer jeans on the market, just as there are lots of different types of Kevlar jeans. So single layer jeans come in different designs, different washes, different fits, different levels of protection, and obviously at different price points. Yet the underlying truth is that a single layer jean will be lighter, more breathable, more comfortable, and easier to wear both on and off the bike. And that's why we like single layer jeans. Now, nobody who rides a motorcycle, whatever they say, is totally immune from considerations of style. But for us, comfort is the key factor. Comfort is the big thing. It's a major consideration as far as we're concerned with all motorcycle clothing, but particularly when it comes to a jean. Why, after all, would you wear a jean if it were not comfortable? In daily life, you wouldn't dream of putting on an uncomfortable jean. So why would you wear one if you're riding a motorcycle? The good news is that today, with the application of modern technology, when you buy a single layer jean, you can have the best of both worlds. You can buy a single layer jean that has abrasion resistance way beyond leather, but a jean that still wears more like those you'd buy perhaps in a fashion store. Now, some people suggest that single layer jeans are not as protective as line jeans, but that's a nonsense. It's a nonsense that's put about by those who only sell Kevlar jeans because perhaps that's all they have the wherewithal to produce because a Kevlar jean is a very simple product to make. In fact, your mum can knock up a pair. It's a myth that's also put about by those who only see motorcyclists as clickbait to sell insurance. But the truth is that there are some very strong protective Kevlar jeans out there. By the same token, there are some Kevlar jeans out there that are not very strong and protective. The same, I suppose, goes for single layer jeans. The way we see it, it's quite simple. If you want a single layer jean, you choose the level of protection that is appropriate for you, you choose the level of protection you want, and then you buy the one that offers it. But there's a factor that needs to be taken into consideration, and it's this. Some Kevlar jeans are 100% lined. Some are less than 20% lined. The 100% lined jeans are more protective, but they're heavier, hotter, sweatier, and frankly, not very nice to wear. Partly lined jeans, by contrast, are more comfortable to wear, but partially lined jeans only offer you protection where there's Kevlar, and in some cases, that's really just in the knees and a little slither in the bum. By contrast, when you buy a single layer jean, the level of protection that those jeans offer, you get everywhere across the jean. Anyway, that's enough 
from me about single layer genes versus Kevlar genes, let's go and look at the genes that we consider to be the best of 2023. The Roca legend gene, in other words, this gene, represents the apotheosis of the art of motorcycle gene manufacturing. Now, we're the largest seller of Roca genes in the world, but their range is huge and somewhat bewildering. The tapered slim model became our favorite, but we did think it was still perhaps not the perfect gene. And so a couple of years ago, we asked Roca if they could make a similar gene for us, but put a little bit more stretch in it to make it even more comfortable, to add a little bit more volume into the calves, because very occasionally with a tapered slim, when you sat on the bike, it was a little bit tight around the calf. We obviously wanted that gene to have a zip fly rather than a button fly, and we wanted it to come in for leg length, so 30, 32, 34, and 36. And that's important because if you want the arm to sit in the right place, the gene has to start off being pretty much the correct length. Now, for last year, which was the first year that we made the Roka Legend, we went for a slightly heavier wash, and it gave the denim what I suppose would be a slightly lighter colored look. It was popular, but for 2023, we've decided to go for a slightly darker denim. Now, the gene is rated AA under EN17092. The problem with AA is that it covers a huge spectrum of what we might call slide times. You can get AA genes with a slide time of two seconds. You can get AA genes with a slide time of maybe eight seconds. This gene has a slide time of a little bit over six, six, over six seconds, and that we felt was more than enough for anyone. Technically, it makes these genes 50% stronger than leather. A slide time like that is pretty much good enough for everybody, and by not insisting that this gene became a AAA gene, we just benefited, we felt, from a higher level of comfort. Our view is that Roka as a company simply make the world's best genes, and we often ask ourselves why, and the answer we find is that their genes simply wear more like a pair of Levi's than anybody else's jeans. And when somebody comes into the shop, they go into the change room with a pair of their jeans, they come out, their reaction is always the same. They come out and say, they just wear like a normal pair of jeans. I think that's down to a combination of factors. Perhaps it's the stretch, perhaps it's the ghost armor, which you can barely feel when you're wearing the jeans. Maybe it's the adjustable knee pockets that allow us to get the armor in exactly the right place. It's probably also down to the, just the cut and the styling. But we often put the fact that Roka's genes are better than anyone else's genes, down to the fact that that's what Roka does. Now, these guys are super cool, but really, genes are what they do. Everything else they produce is, to an extent, a peripheral. These guys really work hard to make the best genes. One of our favorite and most long-standing single genes is the J-Tracker from the Italian brand Spidi. It's a super comfortable gene. The armor fits into these external pockets via a hidden zip in the seam. You've got a gusset in the crotch, a very clever gusset here that means that the armor when you're sat on the bike will always be in the correct place, unlike some genes. So it's a very well through, thought through gene. It has always been also particularly well priced. And so it has become our go-to gene for people who have come to the shop who were maybe learning to ride or who were going to bimble around rather than race around. Now the gene was only A-rated under EN17092, even though we always knew that the fabric achieved the higher AA rating in terms of abrasion resistance, punch resistance, and tear resistance. But Spiddy, in all their wisdom, decided that they didn't want to supply this gene with hip armor, and they did that so they keep the price down. You can only have an AA-rated gene, a AA-rated gene, if you supply it with knees and hips. So we always thought that the Spiddy decision was crazy, that they were going to market a lower level of gene just to save a few quid on the hips. Well, what we've now decided to do is bring in another version of the gene, the AA-rated version of the gene, that is called the Spiddy J-Tracker Tech. It is, in essence, the same gene, but it now comes with hip armor and now has a AA label on the inside. This, however, doesn't change our view of the gene. Some while ago, we had this fabric tested with a Cambridge machine, which was the test that they use under the old EN13635 test, and we found that it had a slide time of a little bit over 2.1 seconds. So it is not the strongest material. And so we have always marketed this as a 50 to 60 mile an hour gene, and we will still continue to do that, even though it has technically a higher reach a higher rating. Now, this is a lovely gene to wear. It has a slimish Italian fit, but it feels and wears like a regular gene. These days, we acknowledge that you can get a higher safety rating for the money, but this gene cannot be beaten for style, 
And the good thing when it comes to money is that we're going to be able to market this gene with the hips at the AA rating for the same money as we did for the old gene without hips at the single A rating. This gene is the Roka Rokatec Tapered Slim Black Black Gene. It's new for 2023, or rather, this color is new for 2023. The gene, as I've suggested, is based on the tried and trusted Roka Tapered Slim Fit. That's a gene that we've offered the last four or five years. It's an amazingly strong gene made from UHM WPE fibers, delivers a slide time of over six seconds, got a bit of spandex in there for extra comfort that makes them probably more comfortable than a street gene. They come with the best D3O ghost armor and so on. The shape of a tapered slim gene is reasonably straight down to the knee, but from the knee, it tapers down to be fairly tight at the ankle. I wouldn't call the fit a super slim gene, but it's probably the slimmest fit within the Roka firmament. Now there has in the past been a black Roka tech tapered slim gene, but they were a kind of faded washed black. This gene is a solid black. It's a color that Roka calling black black. Roka's genes are definitely the most comfortable that you can buy and they come with the nicest armor. These genes don't have the most generous of fits, but if what you want is a pure solid black gene, if you like a slim flattering fit, then the Roka Rokatec Black Black may be exactly the gene you're looking for. About four or five years ago, the Italian brand PMJ came to us and said, would we market some of their genes? They showed us their catalogue, we had a look through, and we said, I'm sorry, all of your genes are line genes, we only sell single layer genes. So they created this gene initially for us, it's the PMJ Adeus, and that was why Having created it for us, we had it on an exclusive basis for a year or so. Now, it's an impressive bit of kit. It's a credit to the AAA level under EN17092. That's the highest level. Although I've got to say that the material is so thin, they don't feel as reassuring to me as some AAA genes, or even, I've got to say, some AA genes. Now, the gene tends to be more popular amongst a younger crowd or amongst the chronically vain, and that's because the fit is very much boy band. It's a very tight leg. There's something else that I'm not particularly keen on, and it's the oil stains that they have here on the pockets. There's a darkened area, there's a kind of blackened effect here. And I think that what that is meant to do is replicate the finish of a motorcycle mechanic who's been working on the bike. They take their oily hands and they wipe them on the pocket. Clearly, it's an Italian thing. I'm not massively keen, although then again, it's got to be admitted, I am 93. The material is an aramid-based material called Toiron that's been developed by PMJ. The jeans come with soft, pliable D3O-like armor in the hips and the knees. Not quite as nice as D3O in our view. We're also not massively keen on the armor pockets because they are not particularly adjustable. The jeans, however, usually come in three different leg lengths. That's one less than most Roka jeans come with, but three leg lengths is the minimum for what we would call a proper jean. The fact is that this is a nice jean. It comes in at a good price. It makes for a great package, and in some ways, I don't know why I'm not more enthusiastic about them. On the right shaped person, these jeans look great. I've got to admit that on the wrong shaped person, these jeans too do tend to have the look of a set of sausages that are about to burst their skins. And maybe that's my problem. Maybe I've just got leg envy. New for 2023 is this gene, and it's called the Roka Legend Straight. Must have been back in, I suppose, 2021. We went to Roka and we talked to them, they Roka Tapered Slim, and we asked them if they could put a little bit more volume in the calf. Not a lot, just a little bit. This gene was exclusive to Moto Legends and we called it the Legend Gene. It was, we felt, almost the perfect gene for most people. It had a zip fly, it had a six plus second slide time. We asked them to put a little bit more stretch in the material for added comfort, and we had them put D3O Ghost Armor in both the knees and the hips. We developed that gene because some people found the standard tapered slim model just a little bit tight in the calf region when they sat on the bike. That legend gene proved immensely popular, very quickly became our best-selling gene. But still occasionally we came across people, people who, has, who perhaps were a little bit stouter of limb, for whom the legend was still a little bit too tight. And so we went back to Roka and asked them to make an even wider leg gene. This is that gene and it's called the legend straight. Now, there was always a straight fitting gene in the Roka range. And that gene had a similar fit to this, but it had no stretch and it had an unpopular button fly. Like that gene, 
this gene, the Roca straight, has a higher waist, but the Letin straight is going to be a much more forgiving gene. It's going to be much more comfortable. I have to say that it's probably not going to be the right gene for everybody. If you're someone who's particularly skinny, these genes are just going to look wrong. They're going to look baggy. But some, for some people, this is going to be the best gene. In fact, conceivably, for some people, it's going to be the only gene. This is the Halvarsen's Rogan gene. When this gene was first presented to us, it was the gene that we feared might send us bankrupt because it comes in at just 200 pounds, yet it's AAA rated, comes with soft level two armor, it's supremely comfortable to wear, and it is, in every respect, a great gene. As a Halvarsen's pants, you might expect it's not super stylish, the fit is not super slim, it's not the coolest looking gene in the market. In fact, it has what I suppose you would call a bit of a dad fit, but guess what? That's a fit that works on a lot of people. The truth is that nearly everybody who has come into the shop who has tried on a pair of these has liked them and has ended up taking them. But I'm afraid when this gene first came in, when we first took it on, we made a bit of a schoolboy error in our assessment of it. Halvarsens had said, this is their new single layer gene. We took them at face value. But technically, this is not a single layer gene. Now, the beauty of a proper single layer gene is whatever the strength of the material, you get that same strength throughout. But actually, the Rogan is a partially lined gene and it achieves its AAA rating by having an extra layer of the outer material in what are known as the A zone. So really in the bum and in the knees. It's not an uncommon way of doing business. It's not an uncommon ploy. Dainese do it on some of their chinos. The truth is that the Rogan wears and feels like a pair of single layer jeans, but where there's no secondary layer, so in areas other than in the knees and the bum, you're going to get what I suppose would be at best a double A gene. Now, we were surprised when we first came across this gene because Halvarsens had told us about it and they said that they had a Kevlar weave single layer gene and it was AAA rated. Now we know why, because this isn't technically a single layer gene. Bottom line, we're a little bit embarrassed with ourselves, we're a little bit annoyed with ourselves, but this is still a great gene. One of the little downsides with it, other than the fact that it's not truly a single layer gene, is that it only comes in two leg lengths. There's a short leg length and there's a too short leg length. One little upside is that it has a built-in zip around the waist that's going to enable you, without using any kind of accessory like a waist belt, it's going to enable you to zip this gene into any Halvarsons or indeed any Rucker jacket. This is the Roka Rokatec Triple A gene. Here at Motor Legends, we are not necessarily fans of chasing the highest AAA standard. It is easy for a manufacturer to hit the AAA level. You just use thicker materials or add secondary or tertiary layers of material. In fact, the AAA standard has become the primary marketing tool for the budget brands. But what those brands don't tell you is how thick, heavy and uncomfortable those genes are going to be, even when they are supposedly single layer genes. These Roka AAA jeans are a little bit heavier than the AA versions, but in our view, they're still very wearable. It's the higher UHMWPE content that makes these jeans stronger and therefore a wee bit heavier. They do feel a little bit more robust, I suppose. I would say that they feel a little bit more like a traditional vintage jean than a modern street jean. The rise on these jeans is a little bit higher and the leg is somewhat straighter. So if you're someone of stouter limb, this may be the jean for you. The problem is, that they come with a button fly. We did not ask for that. This is what Roka decided to add to this gene. Not everybody likes that. So if you can't cope with a button fly, these genes are not for you. We have to say that we're not massive fans of the Sustec armor that these genes come with. We would have preferred the D3O armor. Personally, if you want the very highest levels of protection, I would say that you should swap this Sustec armor out and put in the level two ghost armor. It is still, it has to be said, our view that nobody really needs this AAA Roka gene when, this, when the AA version has a six second plus slide time. And it has to be admitted that the AA genes are indeed more comfortable. But for those who are of a particular disposition or of a particularly cautious disposition, this might indeed be the gene you want. They are a little bit more expensive than the standard AA Rokas, but I suppose you pays your money, you makes your choice. This is the Bellstaff Poplar gene. 
Truth is that very rarely when people come to the shop is this the first gene we turn to. Although, because of the brand name, that is Bell Stuff, it is sometimes the first gene that customers request. It's made from a material called Armleaf, and that's the same fabric used by Roka in a lot of its genes. So that's a good starting point. You know you're going to get a very strong gene, you know you're going to get a very comfortable gene. It comes in this unwashed, dark indigo finish. That's a finish that's sometimes known as raw, and some people really like that. Historically, though, we've tended to turn to the popular jeans only because of their wider fit. So if somebody comes into the shop, they've tried on a number of pairs of jeans. If they're all too narrow in the leg, then we'll go for the poplars because they are somewhat wider. Now, as it's a Belsaf jean, it's clearly going to be beautifully designed and looks great, and it does. But we do have some issues with this jean. It comes with D3O armour, but it's not the latest ghost armour. It's the, it's the slightly older shaped D3O armour, and these days that just isn't quite what one expects. We also really don't like the armour pockets in the popular jeans. They're done in a really heavy-handed way. Now, when you have armour in a jean, that armour has to be suspended in some way. And people have all kinds of different mechanisms. But what Belsaf has done, they've lined the entire front of the jean in cotton. And cotton, as we know, is not particularly breathable. And we don't see any point in going to all the lengths of creating a single layer jean, then basically recreating a lined jean. We're also, it has to be said, disappointed with the fact that these jeans come in just the one length. These days, at the premium end of the market, that is totally unacceptable. It's just, on Bellstyle's part, it's just either lazy or shows a complete misunderstanding or a lack of understanding of the motorcycle market. The bottom line is that this is a lovely looking jean. We should be more enthusiastic about it. But what Bellstyle have done with this jean shows us that now the company is far more about fashion than they are about motorcycling. This is Roka's famous revolution waterproof jean. Let's be clear, it's an absolutely extraordinary jean. It's the only truly waterproof jean on the market and it is incredibly waterproof. Now this was the first ever Roka jean that we offered and in those early years when we took on Roka, we sold thousands of pairs of them. They work, they work incredibly well. But the truth is that we're not quite the fans of them these days that we used to be. And that's because we now favour a solution that would see you wearing a pair of Scots or a pair of waterproofs that you'll put over a pair of single layer, more breathable jeans. And that's for the simple reason that it just does not rain all of the time. Jeans that have had waterproof membranes have historically not worked, especially on a Kevlar jean, because such a jean is going to soak in all the rain. If it rains, the Kevlar, the lining, is going to soak that rain in and you're going to feel cold, and you're going to feel wet before the membrane even starts to do its job. The secret with the Revolution gene is that it's got a laminated membrane. It's got a membrane that's laminated to the inside of the gene, like a, a Roka jacket. That means that this is a gene that's never going to wet out because the water cannot make its way in. The seed change membrane is also particularly clever because the molecules within it will shrink when it's hot to allow hot air to escape, but they will close up when it's cold to keep whatever warm body air you have will keep that inside the gene. Now, impressively, the genes are rated AAA under EN17092. They come with Sastic armor. It's not D3O armor. We marginally prefer the D3O armor, but it's still small, soft, flexible armor. What is not quite so appealing about these genes is that they are quite stiff to begin with. Now, over time, they do soften up. But the real problem with these genes, and we can see this now that we're not quite so besotted with them, is that they can become very hot in sweaty weather. And that's because when you're sweating, your sweat can't escape through the membrane quite as quickly as you would like. The upside to that, or the other, the converse to that, is that in cooler weather, these genes are great. Now, for some people, the revolution is simply the perfect gene, and lots of our customers love them, lots commuting them throughout the winter. Originally, when we took the Roka gene on, they came only in a wide leg, but now they come in a tapered fit too. This is actually the tapered fit, so there is a choice of fits. It's no longer our favourite gene, it has to be admitted, but we do concede that if it's really a waterproof gene you want, the revolutions are brilliant. The Spiddy J and Dyneema gene is one of the longest standing single layer genes on the market. When it was first introduced over 10 years ago, it was quite extraordinary. It is still a great gene. It's made from a fabric known as Dyneema. Now, Dyneema is a UHMWPE, that's an ultra high molecular weight polyethylene. And in that, it's just like Armolith, which is the material used by Roka in its genes. 
This gene is a very, very dark blue that sometimes can pass for black. It contains stretch, so it's a really comfortable gene. The fit is pretty slim, as you'd expect of an Italian brand. One thing that we're not massively keen on with this gene, however, is its overcomplicated armor pocket that runs the whole way down the trouser. Now, it's a good thing that it's not a solid cotton lining like you get with the Bellstaff Popular, rather it's a nylon mesh. But in our view, these days, one expects when you put on a motorcycle jean for it to look and feel like a regular jean. And if a jean's got a full length mesh lining, it just doesn't feel quite like a jean. Other than that, this jean is pretty much on the money. Impressively, it's AAA rated. It comes with Spiddy's own armor. It's not D3O, but it's a similar looking and feeling stuff. It comes with Spiddy's own armor in the knees and the hips. The real problem with this jean, the one problem with this jean is it comes in just one leg length. And that's not enough in a world where the best jeans come in four different leg lengths. The problem is that with the sewn in lining that comes down to about two inches below the bottom of the jean, that limits the amount that you can shorten the jean. And this makes the jean less than ideal. And that's a pity. But the jean market is always changing. And I suppose our message to Spiddy would be, you were out there first. If you want to be at the forefront of this market, you have to keep moving. You cannot stand still. So I hope you found that interesting. If you'd like to see more motorcycle jeans, not that I'm sure that we've got a whole lot more, then visit the website motolegends.com. Now, if you want to learn more about these jeans, we've created a section. And if you click on the link on the screen, sometimes they're up there, the link's up there, sometimes it's down there. That will take you directly to a page that's got all of the jeans on that we've been discussing today. Now, when you're in that section, you can check the spec of any of the jeans in more detail. You can check availability. And if you want to buy a pair of any of those jeans, obviously you can do that there and then. Now, when you buy from us, we try to make the process simple, straightforward, and risk-free as we possibly can. There's no delivery charge on any item of protective wear that you buy from us. Returns are totally free. And what's more, we give you a full 12 months in which to decide whether you do want to return a product to us. We have the best price promise in the business. Now, John Lewis was rightly famed for its never knowingly undersold price promise, but we have always gone one stage better. If you can find anyone that sells anything that we sell at a price that is lower than ours, we will beat that competitor's price by a full 10%. Now there are a few terms and conditions associated with what we call our price beat. Nothing particularly onerous, I assure you, but if you are going to attempt to price beat us, I suggest you go over to the website and check out what those terms and conditions are. If in the future you'd like to see bulletins from us about new products, then if you go to the website, at the top of every page, there's a link that says newsletter sign up. Click on there. Within seconds, you'll be in business. In future, you'll receive our email bulletins. If, however, you prefer to get your information videographically, that is to say in this form, then we'd be simply delighted if you want to become a subscriber to our YouTube channel, and you can do that by clicking on the button below. Finally, I'd like to make mention of our fabulous little shop here at Motor Legends. We are based about a mile from the railway station, a mile from the centre of Guildford. And as I've suggested, it's a small shop. It's got a small footprint, but it's attached to our warehouse where we have more than four million pounds worth of stock arranged over three floors. And that technically makes this the second largest motorcycle merchandise shop in the UK. But we think that we are far more than just the amount of gear we have here in the building. We're all about service. We're all about personal fitting. If you want to check us out, visit Trustpilot. We have the highest five-star banking ranking in the business. When you come and see us, we'll serve you only the finest Italian Illy coffee, or we'll serve you proper Yorkshire tea in a proper teapot. And who knows, if you're lucky, you might even get to sample one of our delicious motorcycle-shaped shortbread biscuits. Anyway, this has been Chris. I hope to talk to you again soon.